Hi, I'm Reverend Tony, and I have a spiritual challenge for you for the month of July on the theme of pilgrimage. Do you think you're up for the challenge? Come along. Before we get going with this morning's challenge, I want to remind you to subscribe, like, follow, share this video with others, leave me a comment. All that stuff helps me out a lot. Thank you. The theme of July is pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is a journey taken with a religious or spiritual purpose in mind to gain some insight, fulfill an obligation, to learn something about oneself, maybe one's companions if you journey with others, and spiritual truths. Most people think of pilgrimages as really having to do with kind of medieval quests to go look at relics of saints or Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, for example. But there are many modern pilgrimages still underway. Walking the Camino de Santiago in Spain, for example, still draws many pilgrims who walk it as a personal challenge, for enlightenment, as seekers, for all the traditional reasons. This month, however, my challenge to you is to make a pilgrimage that might be rather ordinary because I believe pilgrimages are still part of our lives. I believe that we make many pilgrimages, we just don't consider them as such. Sophia Lyon Foz said, something becomes religious when we make it so. So my challenge to you is for this month of July, being the summer, make a summer pilgrimage. Go somewhere with the intent of taking a sacred journey, to ponder something, to reach some goal, to learn something about yourself on the journey or through the journey or by having made the journey. Our lives are full of many pilgrimages. I made a pilgrimage this morning like I do most mornings downstairs to make coffee. I think the ritual of making coffee is even more fun for me than the drinking of coffee and I like coffee. This morning, I'm going to go on a walk with my dog, Pancake. Where's Pancake? Let's get here. Oh, there's Pancake. She's in the driveway, ready to go. Every morning, Pancake and I make a pilgrimage to the park near our house. We do this daily, and I get a lot out of it, and I know Pancake does. It's a time to think, to ponder, to be with Pancake, to look at the sky, the grass, the world around me, to contemplate, to enjoy Pancake, enjoying her walk. On my daily dog walking pilgrimage, I pass through the cemetery. I always think of, hum, or even sing out loud these lines from the Indigo Girls song, All That We Let In. I pass the cemetery, walk my dog down there, I read the names in stone and say a silent prayer. A daily reminder of one's mortality is a good thing. Like the five remembrances in Buddhism, it brings the present moment into sharper focus and serves as a reminder to live each day as it were your last. I actually have an entire video series of my daily pilgrimage to the park with my dog Pancake. It's called Morning Walk. There's a link in the description. Check it out. I'm going to make a pilgrimage later today to the library. I have a library book to pick up.
The great thing about the libraries of pilgrimages, with a book you can keep going on other pilgrimages. I love this signpost at our library. It's awesome. When it rained in the summer growing up, I made a pilgrimage to the children's room of the Lemister Public Library, and I would spend entire days there reading. And I still make the pilgrimage to the library. It's still a special event. It makes my day a little more holy, a little more sacred, and I always am the better for going to the library. When I was growing up, I made many pilgrimages in the summer. And one not need spend a lot of money or go somewhere terribly far away to make a very worthwhile pilgrimage. One of the pilgrimages I made every summer was to my grandparents' house in Mattapoisett, Massachusetts. It was so important, I have written a song about it. Summertime we take a trip Where they go down to the sea in ships singing That's where Grandma and Grandpa live When I was a child, summers by the sea Lazy beach, hazy days, a cardinal in the garden. You can get that here. I loved going there in the summer. My mom took vacation time, what little she had, almost all of it in the summer, and many other summer weekends, we'd drive down about two hours and spend time at my grandmother's house, and it was just an amazing place. I still go back there in my mind often, as you can tell from my song, and my brother, my cousins, much of our family still talks about that place and venerates it. I even did a wedding for my second cousin there not too many years ago, right there on the beach at the shore. Back in 2016, I had the opportunity to make a true religious pilgrimage in the old style sense. I was serving a congregation at the time that had a partner church, a partner church in Czechoslovakia, a small village in the Transylvania section of Romania, Transylvania being the ethnically Hungarian section of Romania. We were a partner church because after the fall of communism in Romania, our Unitarian churches there were in dire straits, having been, in a sense, underground, un unofficial, unsanctioned, banned in a certain way during the communist regime. And this section of the world is important to Unitarians and Unitarian Universalists because in the mid-16th century, this was the area in which modern Unitarianism saw a rebirth. Modern anti-Trinitarian Christian theology saw a rebirth. So I spent 10 days in Czechoslovakia and traveling around various places in Transylvania, visiting churches and historical sites. And this quick video, you can see the whole non-rushed version of it on my YouTube channel and invite you to take a look at that. But I had a, a really interesting time there. I stayed with the minister there, Reverend Noemi and her family, and just had an amazing experience. So that was one of my actual true religious pilgrimage in the old style sense. What's a pilgrimage you can make this July? Perhaps it's to a favorite ice cream place. Perhaps it's just to visit a friend you don't see. Perhaps it's to go to a, a park or take a hike or go to a beach or a pool or just visit somebody. What can you do this month that sends you on a pilgrimage? And how might you look at that journey as a pilgrimage? And what might you get out of it? Thanks once again for watching this video. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Facebook page, wherever you're watching this, like, share it with others, and let me know how you did with your pilgrimage. What pilgrimage did you make and what'd you get out of it? I always love to hear how you do with my challenges. Until next time, go in peace and have a great journey. Hey, look, it's it. the waterfall, woohoo! Lateral Falls, we made it to the second fall. 
Check out my website and blog at TonyLorenzen.com for even more resources that will open your mind, touch your heart, and inspire your spirit. Thank you.